Design is usually the last thing I look at as a developer. This is why I'm putting together Enhance UI, which is to make better looking websites and apps, especially as a developer. In today's episode, we've got Niall's submission here. He's created a landing page for Kodu, which is Irish for coding. We're going to see what we can do to make this look a little bit better based on its target audience and the goals it's trying to achieve. We'll start by taking a look at this design to see what we're working with. There is a great use of colors and design aesthetics here already. This design looks really good. We've got a nice looking logo here, as well as a core message here, some nice swirling logos and SVG graphics. And we also have a full page here that we're working with. There's a section here on how they work, services, as well as teams they've been trusted by, and a little blog here and reading recommendations as well as a nice footer at the end. This is a pretty good looking page. So what we'll be doing here is seeing what we can do to improve the design for this based on the target audience and the goal that this website is trying to achieve. Whenever you're creating any website or design, sometimes the mindset is that you're creating it for yourself, but realistically, you're usually creating it for the people that will be visiting. So in this aspect, we had a look at who the target audience was. They weren't international people. They were people that were local, people around the area that Nile lives in. Then we narrowed these down further. So these were maybe new businesses or startups or medium sized businesses. And finally, we narrowed these down a little bit further. And we realized that the main people we're trying to target here are basically startup founders and CEOs of organizations that'll be making the decisions on maybe doing a website or an application. These sorts of people are busy. They don't have very much time and they need to be able to get all the information they need at a glance. This is why my first recommendation here would be to update the header based on this target audience. Right now, this is three entire lines and for a header that's quite large, normally you want a single line or even just a few words that describe what this website will be. Currently, this says that Kodu designs products and experiences that delight your users and grow your business. Now, from a founder or CEO point of view, there is a core message here that is the most important. And this is the very last section here, grow your business. So the first thing I might do is drag this down a little bit, copy it out, and we'll simply put this grow your business as the main message here we want to start off with. We're going to make this a little bit bigger because this is the core of what we're trying to do here. The second part here that says Kodu designs products is a little bit redundant since we already know that we're on the Kodu page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the word Kodu here. I'm going to make this whole section a little bit smaller. The line height here is also a little bit high. So I'm going to reduce that down a little bit as well. Let's make it just about 100% here or maybe 125%. And finally, I'm going to move this just below grow your business. This sentence is still a little bit long. So instead of having design products and experiences that delight your users and grow your business, I'm going to just reduce that down to design products and experiences for users. This is nice and simple, and it stays in tune with the message that we're trying to describe here. We'll also want to change up this button. I'm going to move it here below our text. And right now it says get started. Now from a person viewing this page, I don't really know what get started really means or where it'll take me. So what I'm going to do is change this to contact us today. In terms of a CEO or a founder viewing this, this has a much more clear message about exactly what this website does, what it provides and what the call to action is. The rest can stay more or less the same. The only other thing I would really change here is the sizing of these buttons. Normally, I would say the minimum size is between 16 to 18 pixels for any items in the header or just items that you're using these days as people have larger screens and sometimes they might not show up very well. So I'm just going to reduce these and reduce the padding on them and align them just over here. So they stand out and they're more clickable now when you hover over. When we do this, I would also say the logo should go a little bit bigger, just to about 70 pixels in height there. And I'm going to align it left to our message over here. Now, if we take a look at this page, the only other thing that I would say that we could possibly change here is the swirl. Right now, this swirl that is applied here as an SVG graphic at the bottom of our page is meant to make it look stylish. But from a business point of view, it is a little bit strong in its implementation. 
And this might say that this company or the context of this website is a little bit too design oriented. And from a business point of view, you always want to consider that businesses want stability when they do anything. So we can keep this in here, but my recommendation would be to actually reduce the amount of swirl being applied here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these points that we have here, and I'm going to reduce the amount they're being applied by. So here I'm just going to drag them up and down a little bit, and I'm going to also move them about so that we're still getting the same amount of a swirl, but just not as much of it. This should apply quite nicely here. And what I might do is just mess around with them until they just have that right feel where they're both still applying that nice sort of a uh, layout, but without being over the top. You'll see what I mean once we're done uh, here. There we go. So now this has a little bit less of a squirrel. But in this implementation, the core message stands out a lot more as well as the image, but we're still getting that nice aesthetic coming through. We also have this background gradient that's being applied here at the top. If we take a look at it, it's quite strong and heavy handed. What we can do is we can reduce it by pushing it up a little bit here to the top. And we can also make it a little bit bigger by pulling it down from the top too. That way it's got a smoother transition and it seems a little bit more subtle in its implementation as well. Finally, we have this very large image here on the right. Now, since this has more or less a white background and it's larger than the actual text on our left, it's almost taking priority away from the core message here. So there's a few things we can do to fix this up. We could make it just a little bit smaller so that it's not too large compared to our text. We could also give it a little bit of an opacity, maybe 75%. And that way it seems to blend into the background. This way, our core message has the most priority with the image here on the right being a bit of a secondary option. Let's move on to our next section here, which is the introduction. This tells us about what Kodo is. Now, while this is a great section to have, I think that from a business point of view, one of the things that would be the most important thing for me is building the reputation of a business. And this is where I like this section here which talks about how the team has been trusted with lots of great vendors here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this section and I'm going to place this straight below of our hero image here. This is our section that really defines the whole rest of the content. What we're going to do is we're going to place this in as a section that essentially outlines why Kodo community should be used and trusted for all the services going downwards. So in this case, I'm going to say that the team has been trusted by all these big names. It adds authority and reputation to the design, and it also establishes why people should be using them. At this stage, all of our content has the same sort of a color, which is black on black. The text here is also a little bit small, as well as the headers. So my next recommendation is make it a little bit bigger for all our sections here. In this case, I'm going to bump the font up here to about 18 pixels, and I'm going to reduce the line height to maybe 125 or maybe um, 150. And here I'm going to also make our header much bigger as well. Make it 36 pixels so that it can stand out too. This header here, I'm going to change up the color. I tested out some of the colors here, and we're going to try out this pink. And for the text here, we might try out a purple and just see how that looks. Right now we can see the design aesthetic there is a little bit too strong. So for this, I might change this to a blue or maybe even a darker purple, just so that it fits in with our image there. These colors sometimes don't work that great, depending on what you're trying to do. In this case, we did try out these colors and they simply don't work. So we're going to revert them back to black. But for the text over here, I'm going to swap out the opacity to 66% so that the text stands out a little bit less compared to the title. We'll also break this section down just a tad by giving it some breaks between each sentence to make it a little bit more readable. Once we've done this, we can see that the image here doesn't align just the same. So we can either align this to the center or we can keep it aligned to the left. Alternatively, we could make it a lot bigger and align it here to the left like this, and then move in the text here a little bit more to the right. 
That way we've got a section here that matches the text similar to how it did before. One thing I noticed is that this section still feels a little bit misaligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it here to be perfectly center. And the image, I'm going to copy it across and we'll move it here to the right. That way we've got a bit of it standing out on the left as well as a little bit of it standing out to the right. It doesn't overwhelm our text, but it makes it easier to read down the sentence. With this done, we can continue further down our design here. We're going to increase the size of this text over here as well as this one below. We're also going to update the line height just a little bit and give it a little bit of padding. Now this section flows straight into the next section here and this looks more or less perfectly fine. So I'm going to leave this as it is. Our 10 minutes is almost finished here. So let's take a look at both of our designs before and after to see what's changed and why it has so. Previously, we had this large image, which was taking priority before our statement here on the left. Our statement was also quite large. So from a business point of view, whether you're a founder or a CEO, sometimes this might be a little bit overwhelming when you don't have much time to read through everything. Now we've got a much more clear message, which takes priority over the image. We also have a strong call to action, which is contact us today, whereas previously it was just get started. We've also moved the menu items here snugly to the top right and increased the logo just a tad. We've removed that dark background gradient here. So in this section, now the colors come through a lot more neatly. Finally, we've reduced the swirl here. So this way the next section can fit in nicely as well and not be overwhelmed with too much design aesthetic. Our next section here, we've actually updated with the logos of really high value companies that Kodu has been trusted with. This brings weight to the rest of the next section, which is an introduction to what Kodu actually is. We've centered this section so that in terms of someone who's reading, even whether they're just scrolling down the page, it's a easy transition to come from the left here to the center of this text. This way, the images here have a second priority, whereas previously the image here was quite large and taking priority over the text, which was also quite small and had a lot of line height. Now the text is also more readable and broken into small sections so that if you are a business owner, you could just read the first paragraph and then move on with a general idea of what this section is talking about. This flows in neatly into our next section as well, which is how Kodu works. And this section already looks really good. So just the fact that we've changed the layout here to be more central with a little less spacing, but a little larger size for the fonts, all of these sections seem to flow in a lot better with each other. And this is the whole aspect of doing better user experience and user interfaces as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was less about doing the colors and user interface and more about considering the user experience for who the target audience is and why you're designing around that. This is the essence of what I'm putting together Enhance UI, which is a book for design for developers. It won't just tell you how to do good user interfaces. It'll also tell you how to do good user experience so that you consider who the target audience of your application or website is and make sure that you design around them because at the end of the day, it is just a formula. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.